Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from New Camp up here in Sugar Creek, Ohio. And today I'm gonna to give you a plant tour, show you what this place looks like. I mean, they have quite the setup here for building these uh, campers. Not only do they have uh, the size, but they have separate lines for each of the products that were that they built. So for the truck camper, for the uh, to tag the Tab 320 and the Tab 400. And speaking of Tab 400, even Jeremy Green has his office in the Tab 400. But uh, as you can see from the building itself, nice setup here. But let's go inside and let's start the show through and show you what the, what they're doing here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are on the Tab 400 assembly line, and as you can see when they, when they bring in the frame, they're going to start it upside down so they can put the stabilizers on and get everything set. From there, what you're going to see is they have the floor already made, so you can see it's all together. Now, notice also one thing that they're doing here. This is critical, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that they're putting wood inside of the framing and why that is important is when you're screwing the walls and or screwing anything to that you have something the screw can bite to so then as they as they complete the the frame they're going to bring it over here and then as you can see now they're placing the floor on on uh, they're playing the place the floor on the uh, frame there and they're going to start putting a plumbing and wiring and everything in it so now as they move down the line, they're going to be starting to put the cabinets on here. Now all the cabinets and so forth, as I showed you earlier, are built up above. And I showed you how they're bringing them down. Now with the Aldi system, what you have is this is the coil system that they'll have for heating. So anywhere you have in your coach, you have the slots underneath the floor and so forth. That is where the heat is going to radiate out of. You're going to have some up front, you're going to have some in the back. Let's go down to the next section. So you see the easy way that they wheel them down here. See how they have the wheels on these little contraptions and they're able to put it right down a track system. Makes it very easy to put things in. So you can see now the Aldi system is coming together. You can see how they have the tubing and so forth. And you can actually see how they move it. They're able to just very easily slide it down. You see the coils there up behind the kitchen area and then up under the, the dinette area. So this is how your tab 400 will be heated. You can see it also up in the front here. So you're going to have it on both sides of the dinette and in the middle. You can see how everything comes together. Now this is the, the new maple type of wood that they're using. So as we move down, as you can see, things are coming together. Now they're going to start putting the sidewalls on. But here you can see you have the Cool Cat. Nice thing with this Cool Cat AC system, it's also a heat pump. So you have two different ways of heating your unit, depending on what you want to use. Now you see the plumbing for the bathroom. Now this will have a black tank rinse. Very simple as far as where you're going to have your dump station down below. See your glycol system for the um, Aldi system. Water pump is in a nice, easily accessible area when you come through that closet right there. Now your Aldi system, you see it's just about together now. Now they're starting to put in the refrigerator. You're running all your wiring. Going to be getting ready to put the battery in here. As you can see now, this is the new outside decor. The new graphics that you're going to be getting. One thing I didn't point out on this is the Asdale that they're putting, they're, the fiberglass is adhered to Asdale. We talked about that before. You can see the difference, um, the fiberglass on the outside. Asdale is a composite panel and it does not absorb water. It is impervious to water. You can see now everything is starting to come together now that we have the walls up. You're getting more um, of your kitchen together and they're putting the rest of your battery boxes in here. Everything is coming together. Okay, so now something else that they've upgraded to is two six volt batteries. So that's what's in this enclosed case and notice that it is vented to the outside. 
and of course you're still going to have your battery disconnect right there. So taking up a little bit more area, but now 6 volt batteries, for those of you that know the systems, know that that's going to give you more opportunity for boondocking. Okay, so here's the outside. As you see, they're getting it pretty much complete. Now we're going to be just about ready to put the roof on, and you can see that they're taking the one-piece aluminum roof, and they're going to be taking that right over the top here. Now, as you can see, that it is aluminum framed, and what they're going to, what this is missing right now, it is missing the block foam insulation. That'll be the next thing, and then they take this one-piece uh, aluminum, and they're going to wrap it from down below right there by your stabilizers and that's going to be wrapped all the way up in the front here. You just get to the front so you can see. And that's going to be wrapped all the way up to the front there. So that is what you're going to be looking at. So when they get it done, what you're going to see is you're going to see the rock guard is going to be below that and then the windows start coming in. Well, let me just show you inside how everything's coming together. So they're getting everything put together. Now also notice the upgrade here, ladies and gentlemen, the microwave. I know you've been asking for that, and there it is. So moving over to the next, as you see, now we have the, the roof is on this particular one. Now you're starting to see the windows are put in. Still waiting to put the, um, the outside shower in and a couple of things here. And you see how nice and neat that is wrapped around. Done a fine job with that. So as you can see now, they're, it's to the point in the cycle where they're going to be connecting it to power. So now they're able to start hooking things up, checking things out. Let's just take a peek inside and see what we've got going on here. Now you can kind of see how your air conditioning is ducted here and how everything is coming together. Nice lighting, lighting up above, power vent fan, they've got the AC blowing, that thing's working out here. Now of course now on this particular one you're going to notice it's missing some of the graphics and this is the beautiful thing about a new camp. You can get it in different variations depending on what you like. So if you don't like that black um, black going down the side, it, you know, regardless of how they put it, if you decide you want to have it plain, you could do that. So now things are really coming together. We're just about at the end of the line here. And as you can see, now they're getting the fabrics put in here. You have your shelving in behind. We just need to go ahead and get the cushions in here. Notice how they protect the floor as they're, as they're coming down the line. See, they have the Froley system in here. They've been checking out the keys. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you've been asking for it. There it is. There's your microwave. Okay, so now we're at the end of the line. The only thing this one lacks is a door. So as you can see, let me just, again, just show you the inside. So you see now we have the cushions in here. And the nice thing is they ship them with these boxes so you're able to put it on the floor. As you can see the floor in this one here. And of course now it has the cushion. So now you don't have to get the microwave if you don't want. And that's what you that's what you'd look like. Now the cool thing is with these new doors, they got a little, little catch right there. It's cut into the door makes it quite nice. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The factory tour here at New Camp, Sugar Creek, Ohio. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Quite impressive, if I do say so myself. Um, I hope you did find it impressive as well. Uh, for more information on these campers or any others, be sure if you're in the market that you reach out to me. Uh, contact information below and uh, Love the comments, 
please reach out to me. I've got vlogs on Sunday where I'm going over different questions that come up uh, different, you know, different times on social media that I see that maybe need to be addressed. So if there's a particular question that you have, something you'd like me to review for you, a particular product you'd like me to review for you, just like I say, comment below, reach out to me, and we'll see what we can do. I appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.